Cole Banker, Dan Hopper Realtors. Well, today I'm at the community of Ventana in Bulverde, Texas. Uh, this community is just north of the one acre lot community, Bell Oaks, right off of 46. Anyways, the reason I'm out here is because the house behind me is on the market. It was built in 2020 and it is a five bedroom, four bath. 2767 square foot home and the asking price is 435,000. Let's go check it out. The builder of this house is Princeton Classic Homes. It's uh if you're familiar with Bell Bella Vista, this is their upscale product built by them. I really do like this community. Uh, you're kind of not too far from everything. You're about 25, 30 minutes to New Braunfels and about 15 minutes to Bernie, but you also have Blanco Road, so you can be down Blanco Road to everything in the heart of uh, central, north central San Antonio in about 15 minutes. As you can tell, this is a two bedroom house. Um, gotta warn you, the master bedroom is on the second floor. All right, let's head on inside. Out that they do have this little deck out there. We'll show you that when we get to it, but I really do kind of like that, especially if you want to just kind of hang out, have a cigar and a glass of scotch and overlook your neighborhood. All right, beautifully done entry. Love the tile floor. Uh, before we go any further, let's check out the garage. All right, definitely saw on the top you can see they had to dig in quite a bit so you will have some steps coming up into the garage but it does have a tankless water heater all right and there is one bedroom downstairs not a real big bedroom but it is nice to have at least one downstairs let's check out the closet space ah, kind of your standard closet Good size bathroom, a shower tub combo. Now I'm shooting this video because one of my out of state clients has shown some interest in it. And if I'm posting this live on YouTube, that means they either passed on it or got it under contract. This kitchen, decent size island, not the biggest, but plenty big enough. They already got the pendant lighting. I need to read up on see if the uh, refrigerators included since they left it it probably is got a few dents in it though but you do have your dual stacked ovens by GE and we got your microwave here this is a gas community a little for four burner gas cooktop and they've got the granite composite sink so yes you can put a skillet inside that portion so the sink is a good one Love all the can lighting and lots of space in this house. This is gonna be your breakfast nook area. Let me go and show you the backyard. <laughs> all right, you do have a wrought iron gate. Not as much privacy as I like, but you do have some green space on you. At least you're not looking right into the neighbors. But I gotta let the person who is considering by know the sun is gonna be setting off. If you see that telephone pole in the distance, that's due west. So as I'm filming this, it is 3.40 in the afternoon and you can see the shadows already creeping in, well, going away. So during the summertime, this deck will catch some sun on it. They, this house has been on the market for a little while. They do have some, that's why they've had some price reductions. Uh, sounds like the seller is ready to get this thing done. So might be a bargain in there. Your laundry room, it's already got the sink in it. Washer and dryer hookups and a little extra storage closet underneath the stairs. All right, let's head on upstairs because there's a lot to see up here. All 
All right, here you get your little loft space, perfect for game room or something if you got the kiddos, or if you don't have the kiddos, you can set up your pool table, ping pong table, whatever you wanna do. They do have a cable jack there if you wanna have this as a little media room. <clears throat> and remember I talked about this little patio up front. Here you go. I was talking about the sun might be a problem on the back porch, but not if you got a front porch. Then you can sit out here, smoke your cigar if you got one, and sip on a glass of scotch, just kind of look at the beautiful scenery up here. Kind of nice. Not a big space, but big enough for a little chair. All right, let's go check out the four bedrooms that are up here. All right, here's one of them. It's like they're gonna have their own private bath up here with a shower. Looks like a pretty decent sized closet as well. Now this room will not have its own private bath. And about the same size closet as we just saw in the other room. All right, coming off to the third bedroom that's up here. And once again, no bathroom off of it, but it does have a, kind of the dual door closets and then we'll have the bathroom that those other last two bedrooms share and yeah here's that one and then into the master bedroom which is a good size master bedroom, a little bit taller ceilings than the other rooms. But yeah, lots of space in here. A little view out the window. There you go, so you can see the yard. And then into the master bath. You do have a standalone shower and your garden tub, dual vanities, and your water closet. And speaking of closets, here's your walk-in closet. Got, like I said, we've got the other three bedrooms here. And remember we had that front bedroom downstairs, which any of these you could make into your own office if you needed to do that. All right, let's head on back downstairs. Right, that's a good wrap tour of this house that's on the market as of 17 May, 2023. If you're interested in this house, please reach out to me. They do have a listing agent already, but I can represent any buyers who might be interested in this house. Remember the asking price as of today is 435K. Um, like I said, if you hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. And of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel. And once again, I'm here to help. If you got any questions, just let me know. All right, take care now, bye.